You know this guy from Mulan, which I can't remember the name to, which I'll end up finding out when I am making the title of this video. You know, the general guy or trainer, the one who sung this song? So, if you like this guy, well, I got bad news for you. They're taking him out of the live action version. That's all I have to say for right now. I'm going to discuss more about it and how it's a big problem. To the intro. <laughs> if you guys don't know, I'm, I kind of like this film. To be honest, the original. But the problem with um, this whole situation, because of the live action remake, is stupid. Because he's a big influence, if you don't remember the original film. He was a big influence to the project. And he actually gave the character some development. And also mentioned that the main character is the love interest. You can't just take someone out. That's cheesy. Disney, you're going to lose a lot of money for this. Because many people like that character. I decided to go back to the original movies to prove my point about this stupid decision. Okay, let's start with the first movie, to be honest. So, young girl is dressed for someone to marry her, marry her or something like that. I don't remember. War comes up, father tries fighting the war, but he's not feeling well, so Mulan steals her father's sword, armor, and even cut her hair to become a warrior. Eventually, she meets up with um, the male character, which I keep forgetting the name, basically training, and they together will defeat the evil enemy that they are facing at the end of the at the movie and she gets even respected for it do you see my point here but no it's not just the first one we're going to go in the second one as well the second one takes place after the first one and a part of the main story plot is that the guy who is getting taken out of the original becomes her love interest by proposing to her. Eventually, um, they have a mission of delivering princesses to marry some guy, but the main focus of it is proving that they are royally in love and I know it's ridiculous that I'm talking about this because you're not e I'm not even going to see the film but it looks original maybe if they I just know a lot of people are just going to be mad at this movie I just know both it being a live action Disney remake and taking out I'm pretty sure, like, two characters. I think they're taking the dragon out as well. Where is the originality of this movie? It's like, hey, let's take everything original out. Yeah, that's a great idea. But now seeing both... Now renouncing the movies, or re-explaining them to people, do you see the problem? Let's see. Let's start with the obvious. Number one. Mulan would obviously not be able to take on all those warriors. If she didn't have that training from, um, what's his name? I really forget his name, to be honest. She would have most likely been dead. We can't go the raid direction, I'm sorry. But the thing, 
Like, alright, I'm gonna mention this once, because I've already mentioned my opinions about the new Star Wars. <sighs> hate to bring this into an example, but... Let's think about Ray. I know so many people are going to be mad at me because I mentioned her and think that I am a certain geographic or geographic, whatever. But I don't care. This character ne needs to be talked about without politics, to be honest. So, nothing against your politics or anything. This is just my opinion. Ray. Ray was a certain character. She felt like she didn't need training. The first movie hinted that it was possible. Uh, what she the reason she defeated Kylo Ren was because Chewie shot this uh, his side. But in the Last Jedi, which is a terrible movie, it makes her character worse. Like, I wasn't a big fan of the character Rey when I first saw her, but I thought, hey, she could probably improve. Well, guess what? She did it. Like, a bunch of things Ryan Johnson did. But that's possibly for a video for another day. And then, at the end, because so many people were getting tired of her a being able to do everything... They eventually, in Rise of Skywalker, made it seem like she needed training, even though we know she has far force abilities. Mulan trained, Rey didn't. So, yeah. Two, the love of interest is kind of interesting. Including how Mulan saved his life, won the war, and eventually was going to sacrifice herself to marry some weirdo. But that builds character, even though if the second one was terrible. So, if we need to take anything from this... This guy is very important to the story. If he isn't even there, the story isn't going to mean anything. And most of the stuff in the trailer is stupid. Um, I'm not going to get into it because I don't want some people raging at me. But, I have this advice. If someone wants to talk about the Mulan situation on someone else's channel, con uh, I have an Instagram. Contact me. Say you're a Dean the Beast supporter or something. And we'll possibly set something up. Because I would like to talk about this. Super ba So bad. But yeah, this is D to the B out. Bye.